Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Von Avi and today we are gonna look at another video of the series what happened on this day. I'm gonna post one video every day so be sure to share it so it can grow. It will help me so much. Yeah but without any other further to do let's get started with the video. In 2012 the cruise ship Costa Concordia sinks and kills 32 people. The captain now is serving 16 years in prison. In 2000 Bill Gates steps down as CEO of Microsoft. In 2001 an earthquake devastates El Salvador. In 1915 the worst earthquake in Italian history kills 30,000 people. What is wrong with this date and earthquakes? 1927 first woman takes a seat on the New York Stock Exchange breaking the all male tradition. In 1980 Air Florida flight 90 Boeing 737 jet crashes into Washington DC's 14th Street Bridge shortly after takeoff. 78 people, including four motorists, are killed. In 1931, the bridge connecting New York and New Jersey is named George Washington's Memorial Bridge. In 1967, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr both went to the back on Ailes Club, London, England, to see the Jimi Hendrix experience. Oh, really? was uh, after we'd recorded it, we got all the artwork together and we released it on a Friday night, you used to release in, in London. And um, Brian Epstein had this place called the Savile Theatre where he used to have shows on a Sunday night and he'd have people like Chuck Berry, great people, you know, so we'd always go along to see them. There was nothing else happening on a Sunday night. And this Sunday after the Friday that Pepper was released, uh, Jimi Hendrix was due to play. So like, you know, I was, good friend of Jimmy's and a really major fan of his because he was just like a bolt from the blue, you know, amongst guitarists. And uh, I used to go to all his gigs, you know, because he was just there in London, he was like, like 10 minutes away, you know, so. And um, so I went down to the Savile that night and lo and behold, there comes Jimmy and he opens with Sergeant Pepper, which he only got released on Friday. So he just opened with it, you know, it's just like, all right, you know, that was it, man. That was it, that's my favorite sort of memory of that song. I mean, talk about a compliment. 1968, Johnny Cash played a show at Folsom Prison in front of 2,000 inmates. In 1969, Elvis Presley began a 10-day recording session that would produce his final US number one record, Suspicious Mind. In 1978, with a budget of only 1,500 pounds borrowed from Stuart Copeland's brother, the police started recording their debut album. In 1984, first country music TV show Midwestern Hayride premieres on WLW scene. In 1954, We Are TV Channel 3 in Pensacola Mobile, Florida begins broadcasting. And the people who are born on this date are Joe Pass, Nate Silver, Michael Peña, Marco Pantani. And the people who died on this date are Michael Brecker, Hubert Humphrey and Ernie Kovacs. Well, if you made it to the end, I want to thank you from my heart. And yeah, please like the video, subscribe if you are not subscribed, share it to your friends so more people will know about the series and I'm gonna see you in the next video.